less interesting than a bag of wet socks. It's Final Fantasy VI. Hope you like a lot of uh, exposition and not really anything happening because uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. We just gotta make it all the way to Figaro Castle. I told McAfee to fuck off, so if it's just if they're scanning or whatever, I'm gonna be upset. We, we, we don't need any kind of tricks here, just die. Thank you. Yeah, so nothing... Nothing spectacular on the way down there. Fine, figure out we get there, yes. Okay. King B did ya! Uh, where you want to go is you want to go to the left down those stairs there, but what... Oh, I guess we have some... Oh, well, that... there you go, Johnny. Okay. That doesn't happen if you don't bring him. Now, what you can do is if you put B-Dude in the front, and you talk to the shop owners here, <gasps> yeah, they tell him they can't take his money, and you get a discount. Not much. I think it's... 25%? Or... I don't know. I don't know how much this is all supposed to cost, but... It's more than this, I can tell you that much. Um... Let's find another tent while I get a chance. And we can yoink that. Soft potion. Can never have too many items. And this guy says the same thing. And you could have, uh... I could have bought those tools earlier. I didn't particularly feel like I needed them. Flash blinds all enemies, which, if you know anything about this game, it's absolutely pointless because the evasion stat does not do anything, so thus accuracy doesn't do anything, and blinding people does absolutely nothing. But yeah, you could buy these for much cheaper there. I think he starts with all three of those, I'm not sure. Um, and then you can get those two. I think these two are new for now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell one of these things. You never need more than one of any tool. Look at that fixed things. Tonic and antidote. Now that I'm the king, I feel like I can steal their stuff. Take my lead position back there, be dude. But yeah, so you could easily bought tools before. I chose not to. I think Saban... Nope, he's not sitting on the throne. Uh, I think our task is to find him before we continue on. Get a phoenix down there. No, he's not there. But yeah, this doesn't happen if you don't bring him, obviously. But I gotta find out where he... Even though he went that way, he's not over there. Tell me that one. Uh, no. Oh, well... He's, like, right there. <laughs> yeah, they have, uh, some of the people here who have less than flattering things. Oh, I have to rest? I guess that's how I continue on with the plot. I probably can't find him, but... There should be a scene now between B-Dude and Johnny. There you go. But, yeah, some of the people who have less than flattering things to say about our lovely King B-Dude there will suddenly have an optional, or not, well, an, an extra line of dialogue about, oh, I didn't know you were there, King. Even if he's, like, in the lead, and he's the person that technically talks to them. Uh, yeah. Are we gonna have a flashback? Yes, we are. Plot exposition! Um, I did not bring Johnny along for this purpose, like, uh, even though I knew this scene was here, I, 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 did, I didn't bring him to watch this scene, though it is pretty touching about the, their father's death. And uh, Johnny's inability to handle it. He's the younger brother, by the way. This is gonna show how basically we got to where we were at the beginning of the game with uh, B-Dude as King of Figaro. And Johnny off in the mountains. Well, what are they supposed to... <laughs> Were they not supposed to tell him? Where's Daddy? Oh, he's gone to that farm in the sky. Oh, 
No. What? Now the Empire's just poisoning everybody. Well, yeah, they kind of got... Well, I understand what he's talking about here. Is like nobody seems to care about that the Empire has killed or has allegedly killed the king. Or when their mom died. <laughs> but they're all trying to move forward. Uh, Johnny doesn't like the Empire. Rather just beat, obviously, even though he quote-unquote allied with the Empire, he, you know, was helping the Returners behind their back, so, you know, he, you know, wasn't one of their collaborators or anything. Now, how does that help in any way, Johnny? Please tell me. Basically, what he's saying is that no one cared that my parents are dead. The Empire killed them. They're a bunch of murderers. But instead of doing anything about it, I'm going to run off to the mountains. But it's like, okay, somebody has to rule the kingdom. Uh, he, yeah. <laughs> B-Dude's giving them the, you have responsibilities whether you like it or not. Oh, a coin toss, huh? Yeah, yeah. Clearly the result is heads, as Johnny gets what he wants, and B-Dude, what he wants is apparently stay behind and be king. Huh. <laughs> Where are you hiding at? <laughs> Lobster. King crab. <laughs> oh, Wolsey. How oh, your translations are great. Of course he would. It I don't know what, well, I suppose he's just supportive of him because that's his brother, but you think Johnny wouldn't, with what he said that night, he wouldn't have approved of any of the actions B2 has taken since then. <laughs> Here's to us, not knowing what the hell we're doing. Very qualified to save the world in a JRPG. And it'd be great if, like, either one of them got some sort of bonus out of this. But I guess, you know, this early in the game, it would kind of... It would kind of break the game... Not break the game, but it would kind of, uh... You know... Steer people to make... To choosing a certain party for this, uh... Scenario. Just to get that. And we're gonna go to Kolingan. And he apparently has a hard time pushing that switch. How, I mean, I want somebody who is an engineer to tell me how this works. I know it's theoretically possible to dig a large enough tunnel underground as long as it's solid rock the entire way. For something to move there, but a castle? That's a little much. Alright, now we're going to go to Colingan. Now something else you could have done is if you only brought three party members... There's gonna be something you can do in Kolingan. We're just gonna show off some new enemies here. Uh, Runic. Someone mentioned something about, uh, I think it was, uh, Joey mentioned that, uh, that the, the Game Boy Advanced version of the game has. Ow! has some kind of mechanic in it that you can have Sabin pretty much auto-blitz. And that would be ridiculously useful if I had that. So because of this controller here. Why am I... I have a white mage, why am I... I am using a standard... Oh, I'm using a standard Xbox 360 controller. Because all the other USB controllers I buy that are in the PS2 style end up breaking after about five minutes. So thank you for the controller, B-Dude. And we are in Kolingan. The Shining Creature? Ah, oh, Terra must have been here. Or Lexi. Okay, so it went towards Jidor. Yeah, I was probably just scared. This is known in the north and dreams of building Coliseum. We can actually stop and see that guy. 
Wow. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm apparently from here. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. So there's an opera house south of Jador. Let's check out the shop here and see if there's anything we need. No. Uh, we can refill. I'm gonna refill on Shuriken here because I can. And we have some, uh, new items for. These are all throwing items for, uh, Ulta there, Shadow. You have. Fire, water, lightning. I don't know why this one's a scheme and these two are edges, but they all do the same thing. They do very, you know, the appropriate elemental damage to all enemies. Uh, if, as far as I can recall, the invis edge turns uh, Shadow invisible because of the vanish status, which helps a little bit. Um, we need some Mithra shields. Well, the headbands are new, but most of the people that I have that have either have them or a green beret, which is better, so I'm not concerned about that. Again, I am shot up. So yeah, see, everything in uh, Figaro is half price. <laughs> so do your item shopping there. All right. Uh, talk to you already. Yeah, your hands are still right. So, um, oh yeah. We do a little bit more exposition here. We can get a green beret from that that house there. Uh, I think. Yeah, okay. Nope. And I lost my HP by 21, 13, 30, 34? I, I think it's a percentage. 15% maybe? Uh, yeah, so let's do a little more exposition. Then I shall rest up at the inn. And then we'll continue south toward the door next time. But yeah, let's look. Oh, there we go. Uh, has it? Treasure is quite safe, huh? And this apparently is my treasure. Suspended animation, huh? First the castle under the desert, now cryophysics. Wonderful. I had to use my herbs, I did. And here we have uh, another flashback here. This is my character development. Again, you need or lock me needs to be in the party to uh for this to happen there. We'll learn more about this later. Oh, that's great. If only there was some kind of magical restoring item that we could uh bring her back to life. Hint hint. No a Phoenix Down won't work. <laughs> you call her back, she'll come back. I'm sure someday in your exploits you'll find something that will help. But that's not till way later. Oh. And I think if you bring... Um... Celis, or Sarah in this case, uh, you get this little extra scene here where she comes back down. I don't know. But other than that, you know. Yeah, so... Something happened between me and Rachel. Saban and Johnny gave up their kingdom, pretty much. Because, I mean, no one's there ruling it now. But we still have to go hunt down Lexi. Last we heard, she was headed south toward Jador. Oh, wait, something else I want to show you. Oh, that music. Yeah, Alt is here. Look at him. If you have three, uh, three party members or less, uh, you can actually recruit him and he'll come with you. He is subject to the same rules as on Johnny's Path where he'll leave after a random battle at some point. Unless, of course, you get him into a, a specific sequence where he's not allowed to leave. So that's why I'm not, you know, as... As, you know, awesome as, uh... Yeah, see? If you say, like, oh, yeah, see, you have space, I'll come with you. But as awesome as, uh, you know, Ulta is, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't want to have three party members on the way here take him and then two seconds later he runs away. He's not an assassin. He has never killed anybody. That we know of. Alright. So I'm gonna rest up and then next time we'll head south toward Jador and see where Lexi got off to next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Until then everybody thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support and have a good night.